Now let's look at relationship between satellite, cells, beams and PCIs. In 3GPP there are two options. Option B is one-to-one -one mapping. One satellite beam is equal to one NR cell with one PCI and one NR beam. So this option is uh, more about capacity and about how to allocate uh, physical cell identities in that type of network. And also there is option A is when several satellite beams they merged into one NR cell, they logically merged in the form of one PCI, but each satellite beam is NR beam. So each satellite beam physically is NR SSB block, is NR beam. This option can help to reduce number of handovers, but of course it has a lower capacity. NR radio resources will be shared among all different physical beams, among all different NR beams for larger serving area. Very similar to current features that Ericsson, Nokia or Huawei have right now in their cellular network for covering terrestrial networks, for example, for high-speed trains cases. So it is already used and could be reused, that concept satellite communication. Or, again, as I said before, if we need more capacity, it is okay with handovers, not so many users, for example. We, can, we could use option A with that type of allocation between NR cells and satellite beams and NR beams. Let's also try to understand such topic as PCI conflicts. There are two types of PCI conflicts. The first type is PCI collision, is when two cells with the same PCI and the direct neighbor. And PCI confusion is when for our own base station, for our own cell, neighbor cells has the same PCI and they overlapped in coverage, in physical coverage. So it could be confused to determine the right PCI to decode and of course a lot of possible radio link failures and mobility issues are possible in both cases and sometimes it could be very hard to find the real reason for that problems. So actually uh, it is well known possible solutions for that. This is first of all accurate PCI planning and unique and allocating unique PCI and that it is smaller number of cells. This is not on, only the possible solution, also PCI verif verification and replanning is required, especially in case of when we try to use such use case as uh, GNOD B re with regenerative payload when GNOD B or part of GNOD B, for example, distributed unit is on satellite board in this case, could be frequent changes with um, CU, which is on ground, and DU, which is on board of satellite, and uh, changes of PCI, changes of cell identities, so could be a big issue in this case. And, of course, we can use XN interface. This is interface between two base stations in 5G and R. F1 interface, uh, interface between uh, two different units could be reused for distributed PCI selection and reconfiguration.